next I'm going to show you how to or what you need to do to create your um, favicon and um, how to upload it to your site so the favicon is the icon that's in the address bar and also in the top tab of your website and right now it's showing my main sites favicon that's my early bird techie uh, favicon icon um, so we just want to try and change it for the site that we're building inside of my site so I'm going to log in as you can see now it has the Joomla logo and we don't want that at all so we're just going to create a new one and upload it so first you need to create one and right now I've already have one made uh, you can do this in paint or any uh, image uh, manipulation or image uh, software out there and you just need to make an icon that's 16 by 16 pixels as I have right here and make it into a gif file .gif. and that's pretty much all you have to do um, there's a lot of um, images that you would think work just fine in 16 by 16 pixels and it pretty much doesn't so you have to play around with it to find out which type of image you want to represent your uh, company in 16 by 16 pixels and then just make it into a GIF file and right now I have this one it's not the best um, favicon out there but it kind of represents what uh, the little logo that I had made for the uh, site and so also favicon it stands for favorites icon so it might actually be pronounced fave icon I just naturally call it favicon uh, that's just me I might be the only one I'm not sure so um, but um, that's what it stands for so let's go ahead and upload it first we'll go into our firebug area on our Firefox browser so we can see exactly where we need to upload the uh, logo so it's always in the head um, text and let's look through the head tag and find out where it is okay so it's link uh, image X icon shortcut icon and here's where it's currently located so it's located in the install 5 templates JA purity and it's called favicon.ico and that is the name of the uh, uh, file and you always want to make it a .ico file so that the browser knows uh, that that's what it needs to pull for the um, favicon so let's just upload it there and go to our FTP client and here it is right here in my install 5 folder on my computer and let's just go to the right folder on the server and here it is right here so I'm just going to rename this as dot old and upload mine upload it and now we just need to rename it as a dot ico file enter and you might want to just get rid of this old one altogether so I'm going to download it into my folder so that I have the original if I ever want to change it back for whatever reason and delete it now I've been told to get your favicon to show easier or quicker you might want to just rename it as like favicon2 or myicon.ico um, just so that because the browser won't know that the image has changed and you have to uh, clear your cache meaning delete all the uh, cookies in each browser and um, still at that time point you might have to wait a while because your either hosting company or your internet service provider might still be holding it in, in their cache or, or hard saving it so you may have to wait a while uh, still uh, for it to show up and uh, so I've been told that you might want to change the name instead of favicon call it something else but make sure it has a dot ico at the end of it um, so those are the tricks that you might want to try out uh, but um, 
otherwise, if you have time, I would just wait for it to show up. So let's go into our browser and refresh. Most likely it won't be showing right now. Yeah, I still have the same one here. And as another um, application that I, or add-on that I put onto Firefox, a lot called Launchy, and it pretty much just launched this, launches the same site on two different browsers. So um, I just try it. It will most likely not be showing up yet. Um, you will have to wait a while. Uh, sometimes you have to wait about a couple hours. Sometimes you'll have to wait a couple days. And the most I've waited is a couple of weeks, actually. So I don't know why. It took two weeks for it to show on most browsers, but it did. Okay, so as you can see in IE, it's not showing yet. And IE tends to have a problem with showing um, favicons in general. Some main websites, you will see the favicon up there. Uh, but I've always had problems getting my favicon to show in IE. If I ever figure out why it won't show, I will create a new t uh, tutorial to uh, explain how to get it to work in Internet Explorer, but um, you may not ever see it up there. Uh, I've been told different tricks, like you can make it 32 by 32 pixels instead of uh, 16 by 16. Um, I've been told that you might want to make it into a bitmap the BMP file instead of a GIF file and then change it to an ICO file. Um, I've also been told that you it won't show unless there's a www in front of the name of the website. I've tried a www one. That hasn't worked for me yet. Um, I haven't tried the other ones. So, uh, yeah, good luck trying to get it to work in IE. Uh, so far, it hasn't worked for me, but it works on other browsers. So, let's see if it's going here. And I am shocked and amazed right now because <laughs> It actually shows up instantly on um, uh, Safari. So that's a good thing. So we got it up on one browser. And let's see about Chrome. Okay, for some reason Chrome is still going. I don't know what's going on with Chrome right now. It's normally the fastest browser, but um, it's still going. So I don't know. I might just be trying to find it, to find the um, icon still. But, uh, and so we got it up on one. And but the good thing about IE is that it'll just show the IE the um, Internet Explorer icon. It won't show anything else. So the main objective here is to not show the Joomla logo logo anymore. So at least we've got that Joomla logo uh, gone for this browser. And um, yeah, and Firefox is still not showing. It's still showing the old one. So I don't know why it's doing that. But hopefully within the next couple hours to a couple days, and at most, hopefully not, but hope at most it should be um, showing within a couple of weeks, uh, the new icon in the address bar in the top tab. So that is it. 